Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. In the last video, we have seen Nebes algorithm and we have used Gaussian Nebes to classify Iris dataset. So this video is in continuation with the previous video. We have seen what is Iris dataset and we have already used Gaussian Nebes demo and we are going to continue the demo on the Nebes but two different algorithms now. Multinomial Nebes and the Bernoulli's Nebes. So let's see. If you remember in the previous video in Gaussian knee base, the accuracy that we got is 96%. We will keep it in mind and we will compare it with multinomial knee base and Bernoulli's knee base. Okay, if you have not watched previous video, I suggest you to please watch that video first. Otherwise, this video will not make any sense to you. And we have also measured precision recall and F1 score and confusion matrix in the previous video. For now, let's proceed and talk about three different types of naive Bayes algorithm, right? Gaussian, we have already seen. Now we are going to talk about multinomial and Bernoulli's. We have also discussed this in the previous videos. What is Gaussian? What is multinomial? What is Bernoulli's? I'll keep the video link in the I button and the description. Please check that out first because if you don't understand what is Gaussian, which one to use when, you will not understand this demo. Why multinomial? Why Bernoulli's? Okay. But just to give you a head start, Gaussian means it assumes that features follow a normal distribution. Multinomial means when you have discrete counts, any number of count which is not continuous value. Just to give you an example, Gaussian can be used where temperature changing over the period of time. On a daily basis, temperature is getting changed. Multinomial, a discrete value count could be any number. The push-ups that you do every day basis, it has no time series, right? It is just a count and it has no relation. This is where I can use multinomial. And that is why we have observed multinomial works best in the classification, text classification problem, right? Where we need recommendation systems, where we need sentiment analysis, where we need news report analysis, article classifications. Wherever we have a text classification, the text is given and we need to classify that multinomial fits best for us. And Bernoulli's is simply, it is binary. It is zero or one. When you have data in the form of zeros and ones, go for Bernoulli's, all right? Currently our data is not binomial. That is not in the zeros and ones. That's why it will work based on Gaussian and in multinomial. Currently we are going to use multinomial. Let's use multinomial now. We know already how to use it. Let's import multinomial naive base, right? Escalon.naive base, import multinomial naive base. Model is equal to multinomial naive base. Very easy. It's that simple. Shift enter to execute and now model.fit again to train our model and then find the accuracy of the model. Predict the future, right? And we are using precision recall F1 score. That is confusion matrix to get the better accuracy on this. Okay, so let me execute this. Expected is actual output and predicted is what is the prediction on given input, right? So this is iris.target actual output and predicted is on given all inputs, what will be the output? This is prediction and this is expected. Okay, and we have used metrics library to find out precision recall and F1 score. So if you check here, precision for a type one is one, one, one. That is precision is one, recall is one, F1 score is one. So no doubt about it because we have visualized the data where we can easily see type zero is setosa, right? Zero is setosa, type one is versicolor, type two is virginica, okay? Zero setosa, one versicolor, two virginica. So that's why we are getting one, one, one for type zero, that is setosa. And for type one, that is versicolor, 94%, 94%, F1 score, 94%. And for type two, virginica, 94, 94, 94. And hence the final F1 score, that is the accuracy of our model is 96% that we can see easily here. So for type zero, there is no confusion. We got 100% accuracy. One is 100% right, setosa, rightly classified. Versicolor, 94% precision, 92% recall, and that's why F1 score is 93%. For type two, Virginica, 92% precision, 94% recall, and that's why F1 score is 93%. F1 score is mean of precision and recall, right? So the final accuracy, that is F1 score we got for our model is 95%. So this is the actual accuracy of our model. That is 95% accuracy. If you remember in the previous video, we have used Gaussian naive base. In the Gaussian naive base, what is the accuracy we got? Let me scroll up it up and if you see we have used Gaussian naive base here and what is the accuracy we have got accuracy we got is 96% so I can easily conclude that Gaussian naive base is giving better accuracy 
for this data set rather than using multinomial name based isn't it amazing yes and this is the confusion matrix for multinomial name based 50 are rightly classified setosa 0 versicolor 0 virginica 46 rightly classified as virginica this is type 1 is type 1 47 is type 2 that is 50 are rightly classified as setosa 50 out of 50 right 00 0 or 00, 00 means no other classification means 100% accuracy for this setosa 46 are rightly classified as versicolor and 4 are wrongly classified as virginica so there is some mismatch here and we have also visualized this right and that's why we see a less accuracy for type 1 that is versicolor okay and for virginica if you check 47 are rightly classified as virginica 3 are wrongly classified as versicolor and none of them are classified as setosa but obvious so that's why you see a less accuracy for type 2 that is virginica okay so confusion matrix gives us more insights all right and uh, how about bernoulli's naive bayes if i use bernoulli's naive bayes on the same data set what is the output i'm going to get so let's use bernoulli's naive bayes import bernoulli's model is equal to bernoulli's naive bayes shift enter to execute and model dot fit again same thing nothing different train the data and then predict the output expected is nothing but actual iris dot target is actual output right i'm comparing actual output with the predicted output how do i get the predicted output model dot predict so i have got the trained model here right so model dot predict and provide the input here iris dot data is the input and again find out the confusion matrix precision recall and f1 score shift enter and you will observe something unusual for setosa 50% accuracy for virginica 0% accuracy for virginica 0% accuracy and also in the confusion matrix you can see all the data points are classified as setosa none of them are classified as virginica because bernoulli's naive bayes is used on binomials on zeros and ones so bernoulli's naive bayes is not at all a good idea to use on this data set so that's why we can think of using gaussian naive bayes or multinomial naive bayes okay so this doesn't make any sense here i'm going one step ahead and i'm going to visualize the data and for visualizing you know you don't have to really worry about the code that i have written i'll provide this code on the github repository what we are doing here we are visualizing the classes by using interactive function okay we are using widget here and widget is nothing but interact so this interact widget will help us give some inputs we have drop down i have created a drop down gaussian multinomial and bernoulli's select how do you want to classify the data it, it will show you the visualization and the classification how machine is classifying your data so you can see the classes here right so this is rightly classified what is rightly classified your set of size rightly classified uh, one thing is to remember this is 2d data where we have four features we are not considering all the four features we cannot visualize four dimensions right so that's why this is two dimensions only so that's why you may see some Some wrong classification but don't worry about it this is just for your reference okay if i select multinomial i see this is how machine learning is classifying data if i select bernoulli's there are no classification because bernoulli's doesn't work on discrete values it works on zeros and ones okay and in the down here same thing the precision recall f1 score and confusion matrix if i select gaussian i see a matrix for gaussian if i select multinomial i see matrix for multinomial amazing isn't it i hope you are able to understand the demos i am presenting here i am putting lot of efforts to create these demos and trying to help you out and learn machine learning in a simple way i just need one thing from you if you really like the content please make sure you like subscribe and share with your friends okay so that is it for this video see you in the next thank you bye bye